the fight for rights and empowerment, it doesn't stop after International Women's Day. An Indian social media star Rick Shawali is taking that fight head on through YouTube. She told me her videos are there to empower girls and to conquer taboos in a conservative society. So Riksha Wali is a quirky, extremely crazy person. Everything which I'm not as Anisha, um, she's basically everything I want to be. And the person who would go, you, you basically don't know what she's going to do in the next minute. She could jump in the water and, you know, dance in it. I don't know. That's what Riksha Wali is. And with Riksha Wali, you do sort of girl power centric comedy and you cover a lot of really interesting, sometimes controversial, maybe mm -hmm. taboo topics, you know, yes. like sexual relationships or the struggles of mm -hmm. young Indian women. Yes. Um, are you attracted to taboo topics? You know, there is no platform where you can actually speak up about all those taboo topics, talk about, you know, how w girls feel today, how, you know, they don't have anybody to talk to when it comes to periods. When I wake up in the morning, there are red spots on my sheets. Like in India, you have to understand, we have TV and we have Bollywood movies. And Bollywood movies, sadly, the woman is portrayed in a very different light. In, more of a negative side because she's the item girl, she's like the product basically. So her girls can't really relate to that, neither on TV. So for me to bring on YouTube this tab these taboo topics mm -hmm. is for me to, girls can identify, oh wow, she's also going through the same problem. Oh, she also has these issues with her families. I basically tell them, you are not alone. I'm also dealing with you and at least somebody's speaking up. Mind you, Many of my family members are not excited about it, but for me, it is just to spread that message and the girl power. You know, outside of India, there is a perception that women here, especially young women, mm -hmm. are under pressure and under threat, especially given the reports on sexual harassment and sexual mm -hmm. violence. Yes. Um, have you been able to address that through your video blogs? Last month when the Bangalore molestation happened, mm -hmm. right? So during that time, I made a video actually, which talked about you know, the whole incident where this girl was molested and then the home minister, you know, blamed her or like people for wearing short dresses. That is why this is happening. Mm -hmm. So basically in India, whenever something like rape or molestation happens, many people blame it on the girls. And for me, I address it, especially in that video where I said, guys, you have to stop because girls are being very fearful in India, especially when things like this happen, when there is, when they got molested or when they, God forbid, got raped, you know, they are scared to approach even their own family because the family also is living in India. You know, they have a lot of reputation and with a lot of pride. So they don't want to inflect anything on their pride. They like even a lot of, I know some people also were like, oh, don't tell anybody. It's just going to be in, internally because what will the society say? Yeah. What will everybody say? So the more we speak online about it, like people like me or other big um, people who do that, the better it's going to become, the lesser the pressure is going to be and the more open girls can live and do what they want to do. You're addressing these topics head on. You're making it non-controversial and okay to speak openly mm -hmm. about sexual harassment, mm -hmm. about menstruation, about girls' issues. Mm -hmm. That's what you're doing to help make India a more girl-friendly place. But do you, do you feel that something else needs to happen to make this country a more friendly place for women? I personally feel A, social media is going to help a lot. Yeah. Um, the more people will be on the internet, the more voices will be heard. So, you know, if I, if I give you the example about the um, Bangalore molestation again. So what has happened is because so many people tweeted about that incident, it gave pressure on the police in Bangalore. Mm -hmm. So because now it became a public thing, it's no more just, you know, whatever happens in Bangalore stays in Bangalore. No, it actually became a public offense that you need to go and arrest those criminals who offended that girl. And I think social media is such a powerful tool for that. And it's right now, it's just a couple of us, right? It's me who's speaking up, there's a couple of other YouTubers and people who speak up. But I'm telling you, the second internet is coming more and more to our country, more people will have access to it. They'll have mo mobile phones, which is the biggest thing on earth. Mm. Um, the more people will start speaking about their opinion because they, they, they all are seeing what's happening in this country right like female infanticides even things like that you see every day 2000 girls children are being killed in india even today which is dramatic and terrible and people are going to notice and people are going to be able to speak about it so the more people speak about it the more of a change can happen and I'm very absolutely that was indian youtube star riksha wally talking to me about the way social media can help rally women and be a tool in the fight for gender equality